And this is a portrait for my tocayo Ruben Serrano, the great person, great friend, and better artist who gave me this book, signed not less, but by the very freaking Alex Gray genius of painting. And this is the book, my mission. And here we have just in the first page, in case someone thinks that it's not related to music, a painting of Beethoven. And here Beethoven says, uh, there is not, there is no lofter mission than to approach the Godhead nearer than other people and to disseminate the divine race among humanity. Among humanity. So, the mission of art. And what is this? Is to overcome limitations and to communicate to communicate a beautiful thing. And Rowan, everything what he has given me has so much of spiritual, artistic, and personal value that I can't but thank him for that. And I wanted to do this portrait inspired on some details by Maestro Brower. And uh, because this is the portrait of the painting you are seeing there in the, in the miniature. That is his own painting. It's a self-portrait and it's a young guy there who is so similar to me in many things. First of all, in the same name. Second, we are all Spaniards who live, lived out of Spain for much time. For, for him in New York. And for me it was Canada, Toronto. <laughs> for six years I was there. And then this experience, because we never lose our own essence. One time I saw, it was a great class by Maestro Kenny Werner, and he said, if you are, say, a percussionist, a black percussionist from the, from, the, from the rainforest in Brazil, and then you start to try to do, quit that, which is your strength, and try to, to do bebop, there will be a problem because you lose the, you know, you can't do things just like great actors nowadays. They, you know, for example, Antonio Banderas from Malaga. There is three people famous from Malaga, by the way, you should know it. This is Pablo Picasso, Antonio Banderas, the actor, and me. So Banderas, of course, is from Malaga and has a span, but the, he almost erased it because you know, in Hollywood and movie making the industry, they may call someone, I want an actor that has British accent, or I want an actor that has American accent, or even Texas accent, or Boston accent. You, you know, there are different kind of, kinds of English. And, and the thing is, for an actor to be able to be free from the accent, otherwise he will only, only be called to movies, to perform movies which are of the Spanish guy role. Right, but but for an actor it's a great thing. So in fact, my friend, Maestro Antonio Sanchez, one of the best drummers of the world, which has been 25 years with Pat Metheny, between other things. When you say Pat Metheny, this guy is part of him. So because Pat has had two drummers in his life. That's it. I played with everyone, but his group, it was Paul Wartico from Brazil first one time, and now Antonio Sanchez in the drums. And this guy said, 
when I, I went to study, because I was talking to him there many times in Canada, and well, he introduced me, Gary Burton, the partner thing he introduced me to. So, therefore, but he was saying, when I was in America, I, I wanted to erase the Latin sound. He's born in Mexico. And because, of course, he's Latin. And, 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 and he said, no, man, to compete in New York and this, or in, in the States in drums, huh, you need to erase your accent. Because you have to have to sound like New Yorker, like Chicago people, like etc., and, and and erase your accent, just, just like the actors, like this Antonio Banderas is speaking English, although he's called for most most of the roles as Hispanic roles, but there are some roles there which are not Hispanic, and in which you can see that this guy has really polished his thing, you know. So, and and for artists, same thing. So art is that. But not only those who are on the stage are to play a role in this life, right? So therefore, the interesting thing will be to do something with art, which is beyond conventional languages and conventional symbols, just like music is beyond words. Actually, music, we can talk about music, but really speaking, music is not about music. <laughs> music is about life, right? This is one thing. And because of the sound it doesn't need any explanation. It's, it's in itself a, a valid currency. So the, all the things we do in art to refine ourselves are here. I really recommend it and thanks to my tokayo for this. It's an amazing thing. And well, here it comes when, where you stand up in arts. Because mo most people, and what I really like when I see how people go into another dimension with the guitar, and doesn't, this doesn't mean levels, because people identify this with only advanced musicians. But anyone, a beginner, can pick one chord and go to another dimension just with one simple thing, right? And, and this love for music should never be lost there because the purpose, we sometimes forget ab about all the technical difficulties and all the things, the technicalities. Just like I was talking about actors, I saw the great advice <laughs> of Anthony Hopkins for art. And he said, you know, know your part so well that you can relax when you play it. So different advices there, which are applicable for everyone and for everything, because music is universal. And this is a universal language. So therefore, when you come into, into contact to that and make use of it, just to, to portray or to, to get some channeled this energy in a positive way and to focus your mind in something positive. And what best than music? This is one of the great, greatest things which I admire of my Tokayon that I share with him because he's a painter, he's a player, he's a businessman, he's a family man, etc. But that painting of the guy coming there to New York at the beginning, that self-portrait is amazing. And that blue thing which gives this Spanish identity, which we never lose, no matter where we are. That's why it is said that, that it doesn't matter if a cat is born in, in an oven, it doesn't become a biscuit. Right. Okay. Un abrazo and all the best to you all in art and that you can enjoy from any platform because art is to, to vanquish limitations and to, to destroy them. There is no limit in art and therefore should not put our own minds as limit. This is the, 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 the world of the unlimited and the world of, of the Creatura, creatività, creatore, the creator, the creature, and creativity. Creator, that is God. So thanks to you, and thank you very much. I see you next time.